Hello everyone, I'm Carol Gilliam, Black Heritage Librarian here at the Roosevelt Public Library, and I'd like to welcome you to our second art exhibit. This is the month of May, and we have a local person named Pamela Albright Smith. Pamela is a longtime Roosevelt resident, and she is, has been inspired to do her art by her grandmother. We're going to do a, a podcast about her, and she will tell you more about her art pieces. Please enjoy, and keep continuing to watch us. Hello, my name is Pamela Albright Smith, a Roosevelt resident for a little over 15 years. Uh, I grew up in Lakeview, Long Island, not too far from here, and I began dabbling with art maybe 15, 20 years ago. Um, some of my inspiration came from my grandmother, who is from Antigua, St. John's, and throughout her home she would have pieces of um, natives on drums, dancing, and I think that's when I first started looking at paint and acrylics. She did have me sit for a personal portrait of myself at three years old, which I remember. I don't know why I remember three, but I remember three years old, which I still have from 19, I guess it was 1963 in my home. So I think that was my original inspiration. After that, I put it down for a while then picked it up again maybe five years ago. Not at the intensity since the pandemic. That's when I really started diving into torn paper, uh, different mediums, just to get my mind calm because of what was going on in the world. A lot of my pieces are inspiration from what's been going on in the world. The Black Lives Matter movement, the killing of women by police officers. I have a piece here that's um, dedicated to several women from the, um, you know, from our culture that were murdered by police officers. So I, I have their names etched in paper throughout the hair of uh, a face of one of the pieces that I've done. Um, I have some pieces with African fabric that represents um, some different places and countries within Africa um, as hair, representing a crown. And um, everything else is just comes as I go along. Again, through the pandemic, torn paper was very popular with me. I think the tediousness of it gave me more um, tranquility. It kept my mind busy and off of what was going on. Um, and I do appreciate this opportunity. At the Roosevelt Library, it's the first time I've had my work exhibited. I was very nervous and excited at the same time. Carol Gilliam was wonderful. The work has been up for just about a month and I really appreciate it. It's inspired me to move forward, uh, get my work out there because of how well received it was here. <laughs>